Luke, first win at home this season. Just firstly, give me your thoughts on that on that game. I thought the boys were good. Obviously, uh, when we lost to Redditch, we needed a reaction. And ever since that, we've had a great reaction. We've won two on the bounce now, sitting sec second in the league, which is nice. Um, going into Hereford on Wednesday. But tonight, score, score five against any team is very it's outstanding. Um, but it's more the attitude and the performance as well for me. Uh, the boys were tremendous. Just touching on coming second in, in the table now, uh, how pleasing has the start been to the season? It's been full of highs and lows. Obviously, we had a cup game that we went out against Dinkborough um, to, to some poor refereeing decisions, which were spoken about and got an apology from the referee, which was nice. Um, and then, obviously, first game of the, the league, we, we started off with a draw, which was obviously a good starting step um, for us to kick on. I don't feel like we actually did properly kick on until last week at Dudley. I've seen a different team since obviously the Redditch loss um, and now it looks like we're coming more as one rather than individuals. We've always had good individuals, it's now merging us as a team and obviously coaching staff and the management have obviously had to organise that and get the team to be as one and they've done that superbly. Just referring to the game today, was the first goal really, really vital? Yeah, obviously the first goal was a great goal with Keelan crossing it. Uh, Jack Spence with a nice head out, but it's, it's the work around it as well to get into that position. Obviously, the goal is vital, it gives us that base to start off and that confidence to go on and get more. Uh, but then you also have a look at Matt, Matt Orton, who's kept us into the, in the game at 1-0, one, one uh, pulled off a, a top save off the line and he's kept us in it. A great performance matched the result. Is this where you want your team to be or is there still more room for improvement? Yeah, well... There's always room for improvement. Obviously, we've, we've been playing a different shape um, for the past two weeks. Obviously, we might change it. We might just carry on with it and work work different rotations and stuff like that. But it's a, it, it's where we want to be at this stage of the season. However, we've still got many more games for us to push on and work on things in training as well. Just looking ahead, we've now got Hereford in the next match. What sort of challenge can you expect? From them, Hereford are a good a good team. Um, I haven't watched much of them, but they are they are a good team from what I've heard from other coaches. Uh, did see them in one game, and I thought they were very good. Um, so it's going to be a tough challenge. Obviously, they're sitting where they are in the league for a reason. The league's tight, but to be at the top of this league, it's literally on the day if you turn up and it gets the result. Hereford are just below us in third, so how important is this game, do you reckon, now, in the grand scheme of things? Every game is important, obviously, we played Dudley Sports first game of the season, we drew to them and they haven't won a game all season. So, it's it's hard because, like I've just said, it's who turns up in the league on the day um, and puts the performance in on the night. Obviously, the lads are working, they've either got college or whatever, and then we're having to make the journey to Hereford. So, it's going to be a tough challenge. We're talking about becoming men and getting into men's football, and the, from the last two weeks, they're showing that attitude. So it's, it couldn't have come at a perfect time for us. Thanks, Luke.